YouTube, what's good? It's your guy, Darren, the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. We talk about fashion and we talk about fragrances on this channel as well. So if you mess with your boy, I'm gonna have you looking good and smelling great. You're gonna be the best looking, best smelling dude out there. Trust and see what I'm saying. So if you like that kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel. And also make sure if you subscribe that you hit the bell icon as well so that YouTube hopefully will notify you when I upload new content on the channel. So this video is going to be a treat for you guys out there, you guys and gals that love for everybody to smell what you are wearing. This list is not for the faint of heart. This is a list of bold fragrances, fragrances that you can smell from across the room, fragrances that you only need two to three sprays and you'll be good to go for the day. So bold, daring, be smoke kind of performing fragrances is what this list is all about. Again, when I say daring, these fragrances consist of notes sometimes that may not be for the average person. So these are not like your easy to wear mass appealing fragrances. That is not what this list is. This is for the people that like something a little bit more challenging, a little bit more daring, as I said, more bold and in your face. So guys, we're gonna get into that top 10 list today. I have 10 great fragrance recommendations for you to kind of fit that category. Before I do that, I wanna give you guys a fashion tip. I told you I give style tips. So I wanna talk a little bit about uh, what I'm wearing today. So today I have on uh, this blazer is a 100% cashmere and wool blend blazer from Ralph Lauren. Now I'm also wearing a, a tie from Tom Ford as well as a pocket square from Tom Ford. So I have two quick style tip for you. Uh, this time of year, these are the type of fabrics that you want to wear. 100% wool, your heavier, heavier wools, uh, your heavier uh, flannels, tweeds and things of that nature. Perfect fabrics to wear when it's cold outside. Now this particular blazer that I have, number one is called a three roll two button. So it has three buttons on it, but it's not meant for you to ever button that top button. When you have a blazer on or a suit that has a three roll two button, it's really only meant for you to still utilize the bottom two buttons. So the middle button is really functions as your top button because you're not supposed to ever button that top button. That's tip number one. The second tip is when you wear a, a heavier fabric like this, uh, one like this or a flannel uh, jacket, you want to try to kind of match the fabric of your tie. So uh, wearing one like this or a heavier wool or a heavier uh, uh, flannel type fabric or tweed, you want to try to find a fabric of a tie that's going to kind of match that as far as the, uh, the fabric is concerned. So you wouldn't want to wear like a really high glossy silk kind of tie with this. You want to go for something a little bit more muted. Uh, maybe ancient matter or something like that that's going to kind of match or a wool tie 100% wool or heavier wool fabric tie because it's going to match the material uh, of the jacket that you're wearing. So that is my style tip number two. All right guys, now that I've gotten the style tips for the day out of the way, we're going to go ahead and jump into this list of fragrances. So if you want to see what made the list, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list. The first fragrance up on the list today uh, comes from the House of Commodity, and this one is called Velvet Plus. Velvet Plus. I just did a video on, on uh, this particular fragrance, the Velvet uh, fragrance from the House of Commodity. Um, I explained in that video that they've come out with uh, a new concept where you have three fragrances and they have three different kind of concentrations. This is the bold plus so this is the one that is very much in your face so what they did with this one they kept the roasted almond that uh, you will find in the uh the personal which is one level down from this but it added some smoke and labdanum to this fragrance right here and i will tell you right now this is not for the faint of heart this one is very very smoky almost akin to something that you would smell from like an unwashed fragrance again it has a lot of smoke and labdanum in this fragrance and you can really pick this thing up it projects really really loudly so again this is going to be the theme of this list two to three sprays that's all you need unless you're not unless you're trying to be a savage and you want to really you know choke people out 
Uh, you only need two to three sprays of these fragrances on this list. That's it. Uh, but this one definitely will perform. It will definitely project. And again, it's a little bit daring because not everybody that you come into contact with is going to like a very smoky in your face fragrance. So try at your own risk, wear at your own risk. Uh, this one from the house of Commodity. This one is called Velvet Plus. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list comes from the house of Louis Vuitton. And this one is called Ombre Nomad. Ombre Nomad, another one that's really smoky, man. Smoky, you have the oud, you have rose, raspberry, saffron. This thing, again, is really smoky and oudy. Now, I do love the fact that you have that nice, uh, slight fruity touch in this from the raspberry. That's a really nice touch to this fragrance. And I think for me, uh, with the rose, that's what really uh, allowed me to fall in love with this scent. But again, this one is very, very bold, guys. This is bold, this is not for the faint of heart. Again, you don't need many sprays of any of the fragrances on this list, so I don't think I have to keep saying that, but keep that in mind, because again, these are fragrances that, you know, uh, people around you are gonna know you walked into the room when you wear this stuff, but it does smell fantastic. Um, and it's one that I highly recommend from the Louis Vuitton range of fragrances. So check this out, man, especially if you are a rose fragrance lover. This one is called Ombre Nomad. All right, guys, now the next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of Amwise, and this one is called Overture Man. Overture Man, oh my gosh, smoky, masculine, leathery, in your face, powerful fragrance from the house of Amwise. Listen, listen, you gotta be a man's man to wear this fragrance. I Listen, a lot of people say the fragrance is unisex, but, I don't really see any women be able to pull this off. Not this fragrance right here. This thing is boozy, it is smoky, it is animalic, it is masculine, but it is good. It will definitely turn heads if you wear this scent. Trust me and believe nobody is going to smell like you when you wear Overture Man. This is the epitome of a bold fragrance. This is a power fragrance. You gotta be making power moves. You gotta be dressed to kill, not literally uh, when you wear this fragrance because it's just that powerful man so check this one out if you love bold masculine powerful boozy fragrances from the house of unwise again this one is called overture man all right guys now this next fragrance comes from the house of mancera and this is red tobacco red tobacco a lot of people say this smells like carlisle eh, again I, I don't really get that this thing opens up, boom, right out of the bat, uh, right out of the gate in your face with oud and incense, right out of the gate. Now you do have some uh, incense in this as well. When it dries down, you get that vanilla that does come into play. It sweetens it up a little bit, but this stuff is really, really bold, guys. So uh, most of these fragrances, I would really preserve these for wearing these when it is definitely cold outside. Uh, this is sweater weather. This is, uh, again, flannel jackets. This is scarves. You get what I'm saying? Those are the appropriate times to wear these kind of scents, all right? If you wear these in the summertime, you do what you want, but I'm just saying it ain't gonna work, all right? Just trust and say, trust me when I tell you the people around you are not going to appreciate it. That's what I am saying. So check this one out again from Mancera. If you love one that's bold and brass and in your face, this will get the job done for you, man. This one is called Red Tobacco. All right, guys, now this next fragrance on the list, I haven't really talked a lot about this fragrance, but we're gonna talk about it today because it fits uh, for a list like this, and this one is from the House of Fragrance Dubois, and this is called Cannabis Blue. Cannabis Blue. This thing is kind of aromatic uh, when it opens up, but man, this is all about the spices and the cannabis. So I don't recommend, you know, wearing this fragrance uh, if you're going to be out and, and you may have some alcoholic beverages because if you get pulled over, they are going to search your car for narcotics. <laughs> Because this thing is has a very prominent note of cannabis. So just tell, just know that the Bowtie Fragrance guy did warn you about that. But there is something very alluring about this fragrance. It's bold, it's brass, it's in your face, but I do really enjoy it. When I'm in the mood for something that's a little bit more bold, a little bit more daring, something that I know is going to get people's attention and is going to be kind of a standout scent. Because again, nobody's going to smell like you except... But man, if you like something that's bold and in your face uh, and you like the, a note of cannabis, there is a, I will say, a nice kind of, uh, like I said, it's aromatic in the opening with some eucalyptus, 
uh, some grapefruit in the opening of this. It's a really, really nice scent, man. But check it out from the house of Fragrance Dubois. This is called Cannabis Blue. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list actually comes from the house of Tom Ford, and this one is called Noir Anthracite. Noir Anthracite. This is a very, very polarizing fragrance, and again, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but all the fragrances on this list are a little bit more on the challenging side. Again, I would call them very, very bold fragrances, and this one definitely fits that category. I think people will split on this. This is definitely a love or hate it kind of fragrance. I wasn't a big fan of it when it first came out, but I, I kind of you know, got this on my hand when I was trying out some other Tom Ford fragrances and the more I walked around, the more this wafted off my skin, the more I really love this fragrance and I eventually said, you know what, I want to add this to the collection. When you are dressed like this, this fragrance is perfect in cold weather because you're really going to stand out. Again, it's, it's a fragrance that's very, very spicy, it's classified as a uh, Shepra. Uh, so again, very, very masculine, uh, very bold, spicy. Uh, again, masculine and very much uh, uh, bold and in your face. So I like it. Again, if you're dressed up, man, all black or you know something like this, this fragrance is really going to fit uh, your style personality that day. So check it out, man. I really like it from the house of Tom Ford. It's not an everyday wear, but those times when you're feeling bold, this is something that I think will be good to have in your collection. Again, this is Tom Ford and Anthracite. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list. This one comes from the house of Nasamato, and this is called Black Afghano. Black Afghano, another fragrance that prominently features the note of cannabis. Anytime cannabis is in a fragrance and it is prominently featured, it's going to be a bold fragrance. At the end of the day, it is what it is. This has cannabis in it. Uh, it has a little bit of coffee. Uh, in this one and uh, of course oud uh, are the main notes to my nose and again this is a bad boy fragrance right here and that's what this list is about bold masculine you know bad boy definitely something that is uh, you need one or two sprays and you're good to go because this thing projects like a monster man but I love it it's really really smooth this is probably one of the smoother fragrances on this list but man it's really really good when you're in that kind of mood so check it out from the house of Nasimato. Again, this is called Black Afghano. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list actually comes from the house of Initio Parfums, and this one is called Oud for Greatness. Oud for Greatness. Now, this is uh, probably a lot of people uh, consider this to be with their favorite, their favorite from this house. Of course, you guys know I'm a blessed Baraka is my favorite. But man, that this is a very, very uh, nice fragrance. Of course, as it is the case with a lot of these fragrances, a lot of these uh, actually feature the note of Oud. Uh, Oud is just a note, guys, that is just not really, uh, it's, it's not really going to be a note that's going to be, uh, I would say, well received by uh, other folks. Um, a lot of folks that are really into fragrances uh, have come to appreciate the note of Oud, but for the average person, a lot of times, it's not like, uh, like bergamot, you know what I'm saying? So uh, this features a note of Oud, as the name would indicate, uh, it has Oud in it, and uh, Again, it's a very, very bold fragrance. Another one, just like the rest of these fragrances, you don't need a lot of spray, uh, sprays of this stuff. You don't. You need two to three sprays and you're good to go. It does smell fantastic though. But it's one that when you wear it, it is not hard for people to pick up uh, your scent that day. And that's what this list is about. So I really, really like it. Uh, maybe not as much as some other people who really put this as their number one. I don't fault you, but it's a very bold fragrance. So check this one out, of course, from the house of Initio Parfum. This one is called Oud for Greatness. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, this fragrance probably helped to invent this kind of category or genre of fragrances. And this is from the house of Unwise. This is Interlude Man, also known, affectionately known as the Blue Beast here in the fragrance uh, world. This stuff is good, man. Um, but again, it has incense, it has oud, leather, uh, patchouli, very, very bold fragrance. Uh, the oregano note uh, slash apopanax, uh, and apopanax, I'm sorry. Uh, but man, this stuff is very, very bold. Uh, the oregano note can be a little bit too much for some people combined with that incense and all that apopanax when it opens up. But man, if you let this thing dry down, you get some of the, uh, let some of the sweeter elements come into play. Absolutely gorgeous scent. But again, to me, this kind of uh, led the way for this kind of category of fragrances. Fragrances that are very bold and kind of challenging and masculine. Uh, this was one of the first to really, really uh, get into that genre. But I love it uh, from the house of Unwise. It's a trailblazer in this particular uh, genre of fragrance. This is called The Blue Beast, AKA Interlude Man. 
All right, guys, and last but not least on this list, this fragrance comes from the house of Nishane, and this is called Hachibai. This is Hachibai. Yes, it does remind some folks to some degree of a vintage because of the pineapple in the opening, but this really goes in its own direction when it dries down. This is a very, very bold fragrance. People can smell it when I wear this with a good five feet away. Um, I told the story when I first kind of started getting into this fragrance when I got it, and uh, we were, it was during the pandemic in 2020, and I went to the store and I actually had this fragrance on. I had on a mask, the sale associate had on a mask, and they actually had a plastic uh, barrier in between us, of course, because of COVID, and she still could smell this fragrance. You spray it on your hand, it's an extract de parfum. The oil stays on my hand for about an almost an hour. Heavily concentrated fragrance, but it's really good. This is a cheaper fragrance, and what really makes this fragrance uh, stand out is the performance of this one. Also, it has that oak moss, uh, which is a standard note for a lot of fragrances that are in the cheaper category. So again, it's very, very bold. I mean, of the fragrances that I talked about today, this is probably the easier one to wear overall, but it still fits for a fragrance that I would say is bold, masculine, and in your face. It smells fantastic. Check it out from the house of Nishane. Again, this is called Hachibai. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this video and this list today as I gave you 10 bold in your face fragrances from my collection. As always, I appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. Of course, you don't have to watch, but you do. Sincerely, I appreciate that. Now, don't forget, make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. And make sure you share these videos out to some other folks that uh, may be interested in this kind of content. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. As always, I'm your guy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love looking good. I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, uh, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.